Hey there, how's it going? This is Chris again. Okay, so this is a junkyard that I built in Park this way. And what I'm going to do is just quickly show you how to use the populate tools in 3ds Max. Because if you've never used it, it really is ridiculously easy. Now, I want to do a little bit of modify to this. So I'm just going to get rid of some parts that really are overflowing that I don't want. And it's quite a heavy mesh because there's thousands and thousands of pieces in it. So when I select something and hit delete, it is taking a minute or two. However, I just want to make sure that the various avenues we're using are more or less clear, okay? And they appear to be, that's cool. Okay then, so <clears throat> what I've done is I've gone here, animation, populate, populate tools, okay? This is the basic thing that I need. And I'm going to create a flow, just here. And I want it to come through from here, where I started, to here. I'm putting a little bit of a curve on it just there. And then out. So we have this self contained area here. And I just right click, and now you can see we've got that. And then here, I'm going to have it come to about there and just stop. I don't really want it to overlap this piece. And then I'm creating an idle area here. And this is just a free idle area. So I'm just going to basically roughly draw a circle. Okay, and that's all I need. That will give me everything I need for this. Now, I'm going to do some modifying to this. So, for example, I want this to be fairly dense. Maybe people are really enjoying looking at the garbage. And uh, I'm going to have people more in groups, like chatting to each other perhaps about the garbage. Groups of three. Mostly, well, let's move them down to males for the shit hell of it. Okay, I could make them all face in one direction if I wanted, so they could all be looking at one particular piece of garbage, maybe they're worried about it. So, yeah, why not, we'll do that. I'll just go over here, and I'm going to create like a giant teapot. I'll auto-grid it, so it'll just be sitting up here. There we are, look, there we are. There's a giant teapot that they're all going to be speculating about. So if I go back here, we can have them all facing the big teapot. Okay, so everyone's looking at the teapot, they're wondering what the hell it's going on about. Now down here, um, gender. So we'll have both genders. They're going to be hugging the right. We're going to have them going moderately fast. And same again here. Okay, so I've got everything we need. Now what I've done down at the bottom is I've right clicked on my play button and I've just typed 300 in length. Because that's the length I want. Okay, and now I'm going to go and hit the simulate button. So. I go to my populate tool here and there you can see here this will generate the crowd behavior on everything I can also change here okay for custom skin stick figures stick to the skin etc let's just do a simulate and it will take a little while because it's creating all the various characters and I'm recording at the same time so I'll just sit and chat to you while it's doing it um, I've had some part of the flows that have taken absolutely ages and some that haven't so it just really depends to be honest, I don't think I've used Populate in 3ds Max 2017 much at all. Ah, there we go. So we have some dudes already. And there we go. There's various people walking around so far, so that's good, including the people who are really getting into that giant goddamn teapot. Now this area here doesn't seem to have anyone on it, so... I think what I'll do is I'll delete this one and create a new flow again. I'll just create the single flow coming through. So I should really have added the other flow to it. There we are. And I'll raise everyone from here. Again, I'll just rebuild this quickly. There we go, like that. And I can edit my flow, which is kind of useful, so I'll just grab there. 
and I can add to it. So that gives us that flow there, which is quite good. Okay, so I'm going to regenerate this now, and I want to increase the density of peeps that go along here. So I'm already running. And simulate. So again, it'll create the 18 idlers, then it'll create 35 pedestrians. Calculate everything to do with them. Okay, now if I come down here into garbage land and just build myself a camera. A little target camera, I think. There we go. I'll just change to its view and hit play. The people are kind of worried and a bit freaked out perhaps by the giant teapot. Maybe it's coming for them, we're not entirely sure. There's some collisions going on here, so I'm just going to sort that out. There we go, let's get rid of this bit of garbage here. If people are going to run through it, it's no use. Perfect. Okay, and now I'll hit play again. Oh, there you go, you see. The great garbage mound in the sky is calling them. And that's how easy it is just to add people into your scene. Now I know it's mainly for architectural use, but you know what, if you've got a big monster chasing after them, that's still cool as well. Maybe a giant teapot rolling down a hill ready to crush them all to death. That's cool. And that guy's face looks so worried. Hey, look at him. I like how he's avoiding people there, just changing lanes. Running through some geometry. Look, look, there he goes. Oh no! Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so anyway, I hope you found that a bit useful on how to populate your scene and stuff. Um, drop back into perspective for a minute. Try not to crash CDS Max, because auto saves going on. And Max is very crash heavy sometimes. Uh, am I still in camera mode? No, good. No. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm trying to use my... Uh, Course as well. I was trying to use Unreal Engine controls to move around. But I just want to see if these guys were looking at the terrifying, the scary teapot as well. They should have been. There it is. Yep, they were looking at it. So again, if I just go in here. Create a quick camera and hit play. Uh, they're not too concerned by the gigantic camera, but nonetheless it is there. So, Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and informative. And uh, if you did, subscribe. If you didn't, subscribe anyway and tell me why you didn't like it. And uh, don't forget to pop by our Facebook page. Till then, TTFN. Bye-bye.